I am here in the cathedral before an image of Jesus being crucified, obviously the primary symbol of Christianity. As we hold that in our minds, let's go back 2,000 years and more to Northern Europe and recording this on Thor's Day. He of large hammer fame, yesterday was Woden's Day. These are the gods of the people groups from Northern Europe in that period. In these myths, Odin is ruler of the gods, attended by warrior maidens called Valkyries. The Valkyries roamed through the air in shining armour. They directed battles and distributed death among the warriors, and then led the souls of slain heroes to Valhalla, the great hall of Odin. You, as young people, would take part in worship led by priest chieftains, uh, it would be outdoors under guardian trees or sacred wells, uh, sacred stone circles, and it would include sacrifice of animals, even humans, somewhat different from the services we hold in school chapel and in the cathedral. In these services, the altar is for bread and wine. And radically different stories and are told and ideas presented. A hero who takes the role of a servant and washes his followers' feet, and who then got executed without putting up any fight. The stories we tell and listen to will shape the way we think. The stories told by our ancestors made those people who they were, how they behaved towards other people. For the last one and a half thousand years or so, at this time of year, a very different story has been told in England. The Easter story of an executed God. Well, let's remind ourselves of that Christian story of Easter. It's the story of a servant God who washed the feet of his followers. It's the story of a forgiving God one of Jesus' best friends, Peter, ran away at Jesus' hour of need and then denied he even knew Jesus. But he was later to have a major leadership role in the early church. It's the story of an executed God, a God who was set up in a rigged trial and killed in a brutal way by an oppressive army of occupation. The Easter story has given us a powerful role model in Jesus, an example to follow, a radically different type of role model, hero, leader, than is usually presented to us. At its heart is the concept of self-giving love, deep compassion for others, a rejection of the idea that material wealth is our aim in life, a rejection of violence. Following the values we see represented in Jesus in this Easter story are ways of living which produce communities, local, national and international, which enable full human flourishing and enable people to achieve that fullness of life which Jesus promised to those who follow him.